out of the blue, my partner actually reached across the front seat and punched me, uh, fracturing my nose uh, in the middle of traffic in the express lanes of Highway 401. And that was less than a year after I'd been married. This happened once when there were people in my home. Friends of mine were downstairs in the basement. I go upstairs because my wife and I were obviously arguing. I go upstairs, I come back downstairs and I actually had cuts and welts on my face. And I remember making up a story about having fallen into a closet. I remember I went to, uh, the worst incident of domestic violence was one that was witnessed by uh, one of my children. And uh, I was on my way to uh, a three-day meeting, an off-site, and I was leaving at 7.30, quarter to 8 in the morning. And by the time I was shaken by the experience, I got chased around the house, chased around the main floor, chased around the dining room table, and I actually had um, 13 open wounds on my face because my partner had not chosen to use an object. My partner chose to use her fingernails. And every single time, with rare exception, every single time there was domestic abuse against, domestic violence against me, it was always on my face. And sometimes it was a surprise attack, and sometimes it was something I could see coming. I was shaken to the core. I had to drive two and a half hours and then do an all-day presentation. And I'll never forget, I, I tried putting makeup on, but the blood kept coming through the makeup. So I took all the makeup on, walked into a meeting of all my peers and other executives at the company I work with, and had to stand at the front of the room and present. Obviously, I was shaken. I was not myself. I was shaken in my boots. I was white. I was probably still in shock. And I had open wounds on my face. Nobody asked any questions. So throughout the course of my relationship, I had opportunity to call 911 on more than two occasions where I initiated the call because I was concerned for my safety. Um, both my son and I slept with uh, objects that would make noise behind our doors. In the event, just in the event somebody opened the door in the middle of the night, we were concerned. Uh, I was working at my office on a Monday, middle of the afternoon, and I got a call that, from an unknown number. I picked up the phone, and the caller identified themselves as a Metro Toronto police detective. They asked me to leave my office. They asked me to go downstairs and meet them. I met them. They asked me if I knew what, I, what they were there for. I said, I have no idea whatsoever. They basically told me they were there investigating domestic violence charges against me by my partner. Uh, I got arrested at work uh, in front of coworkers. There were coworkers there handcuffed and put into a police cruiser in your typical fashion where they put your hand, their hand on your head and push you into the back seat in a suit and tie at my workplace. Um, and uh, then obviously processed in jail and I just went through about a, a 9 to 11 month ordeal, I'll call it for lack of a better expression, 